All right, Falcon. So, hello. Today we are moving on and working a little bit more with exponents. Just a reminder of the base, the coefficient, the exponent, and all that stuff. Remember, the biggest thing here is the 4, right, is called the coefficient. Its exponent is not 2. Its exponent is not 2. The x's exponent is 2. The x's exponent is 2. They are two separate things. So remi remember to keep that in mind as we go through what we're doing today. All right. We're going to start off with a new rule today that is called the zero rule. Okay. So anything, anything, anything is raised to the zero power. All right. So... Anything raised to the zero power equals one. Anything raised to the zero power equals one. That is super duper important for what we're looking at today. Okay? And there is a spot for work. And you will see why. Because not all these answers are going to equal 1. So if you're like, well, all these are 1. Let me just do that. They're not. So keep that in mind. So if we look here, this one, well, it's raised to the 0 power. So yes, to the 0 equals 1. So this is just 1. That's fine. This one is 2 to the 3rd times x to the 0 power. Well, 2 to the third would be 2 times 2 times 2, and then x to the 0 power would be 1. So notice how those are two different exponents, right? So it looks a little bit different. So 2 to the third power, and then we just would times it by 1, which would give us just 2 to the third power. All right, for the next piece, AB to the fifth raised to the zero power. So remember at the end of last class was what we talked about. This whole thing is written zero times, which means it's just one. So our answer here is just one. All right, then we have 12 to the zero power. Well, that's one x, so that's just an x, and then y to the zero power, well, that's just 1. 1 times x, well, that's just x. Times 1, that's just x. All right, for the next one, we have 8x to the zero power. Okay, so that's 8. And then x to the zero power is just 1. And then we're just going to have plus 5. Well, order of operation says 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 5, so that would equal 13. And that's it. Okay? So, again, anything raised to the zero power is 1, but you have to watch because not everything is necessarily to the zero power in the thing that you've got, in the expression that you've got. All right, great job so far. We'll come back and do the quotient rule. 